now you are welcome to today's that is 11th of december's godly blessing now the contentment is a very important aspect of everybody's life but then we can only become content if you are making three different personalities content so who are those three different personalities is what we are going to explore in today's godly blessing because just being content with myself is not enough are other people content with me that's another important question which i should ask myself and we should ask ourselves so let's go ahead let's understand what is the meaning of contentment over here and what are the three certificates of contentment god says may you be a jewel of contentment and claim the three certificates of contentment through your elevated actions and a yogi life a very important thing if you think about a yogi life somebody who is living in the world but doesn't desire things things come to him or her easily and effortlessly because of not having desires and uh, the whole of the world and all the five elements are actually working towards getting those things to that entity or to that yogi soul so god says the sign of your performing elevated actions is to be content with yourself that means if you are doing some good actions the action over here can be just your thought if you are thinking anything evil about anybody at this present moment even about me if you are thinking anything evil about anybody even about yourself you will never feel content your complete energy levels as a yogi i would tell you your complete chakra levels or your energy centers your solar plexus and your your energy level before below that in the tummy area is going to be disturbed you're going to feel some you're going to feel some heaviness in those areas that means you're not thinking pure at that time so god then says so the sign of your performing elevated actions is to be content with yourself so if you're doing any kind of pure thoughts towards self and others then you are feeling content with yourself and content with others let it not be conditions i am content whether others are content or not it doesn't matter to me no god says whenever you're doing an elevated action when you're doing some pure kind of thoughts we are taking some pure actions then other souls around you will feel content with your thoughts with your actions those who have a yogi life automatically impress others that means they are happy with your efforts they are happy with your actions because it's bringing them peace it's making them feel lighter because of your actions as compared to somebody who's using negative virtues let's say indiscipline let's say laziness let's say postponing things around let's say complaining let's say blaming let's say that you are being not honest and that affects you first and then other people around you also get affected whether it's in your organization whether it's in your own house and that's why neither will you be content nor anybody else around will you be content with you so when others are not content with you how can you be content with yourself whether you are discontented with whether you are discontented with yourself or others are discontented with you you should understand that something is lacking in your being yogi yukt that means we are not connected with the supreme creator's qualities and divinity and using those qualities and divinity in getting our action done somewhere we are using some manipulative or foul way of doing things that means we are using uh, ravanic or satanic values dishonesty laziness postponement indiscipline or uh, you can say jealousy you can even say we are getting greedy about things pushing things around pushing people around and that's why people won't be content with us or even desiring name and fame or desiring all the fame towards yourself and forgetting about others so god says there are three certificates needed for a yogi life Three certificates are content with oneself. That means I'm content with myself. What I'm doing right now. That means it starts with the first thing: thoughts, then karma, words. 
Second thing is the farther is content. That means when I am sitting in meditation, let's say in early in the morning at Amrit Vela or any moment I am remembering God, I can feel that His love, His peace and His happiness is pouring into me. I don't have to beg for it. That means He is content with me. Third thing is the Lokic and Alokic families are content. That means the worldly family is content that you are doing things faster for your worldly things. And also Alokic families also contend that okay, you are also working towards serving humanity and helping each other out. When you have received these three certificates, you will then be called a jewel of contentment. That means you are a shining jewel, you are an example. That's what they put. They show an example of this is the diamond, this is the jewel, this is the most precious jewel. You will become very precious for both worldly family and also spiritual family. How do you do that? Is what you learn is a journey. It's a journey. Even I'm on that journey. Sometimes getting imbalanced, sometimes balancing out. And when we have more of virtues, more of qualities, and more of power, godly power and godly godly qualities which we use and we get a hang of it, automatically people around us, including ourselves, will become content with us. More about this is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. Do go ahead. Don't think twice. It's never too late, but yes, if you want to think twice, it's going to get late. With this, Om Shanti.